So I'm working on a film score right now and I was trying to figure out how to sync Reaper as a video slave to multiple logic projects. It wasn't an easy thing to do and I searched the web trying to figure it out and none of the pages had the exact answer and I had to piece together different pieces of information to actually get it to work. Now it's working perfectly and I want to share with you how to do it. So some studios use Pro Tools, some people use Video Slave, both are equally good as well. Um, this particular video it's about Reaper. If you have a copy of Reaper it might be really useful for you. So let's start with a logic project. Um, this is my template for scoring. Let's go to the settings and set up in logic. So the first thing we do is let's go to file project settings and sync. Now the important thing here for film especially is to make sure the frame rate is right and in this case it's 24 and the bar position is really important as well. So I always start my cues from bar five, which is where the playhead is now. And I set it such that bar five plays at SIMT 0000, everything zeroed. So the bar five is where the cue actually starts. Uh, and in logic, you gotta be careful because sometimes the sync point is actually like this one hour in, you got to make sure that everything is zeroed here just to make sure it can work well with Reaper. So five and zero on everything. Now let's set up the IAC driver. So let's go to our audio MIDI setup and there's an IAC driver here. So let's double click that. And um, just in case if you don't see this, make sure you add the window and show MIDI Studio, which is, it will say show MIDI Studio here. And you'll see this window here. Double click on IAC driver. And um, I've created two ports. So you can, to create ports, you can just press the plus button. And I name one MTC, is double click them to name them. And I name the other one MMC. So this is for the MIDI time code, and this is for the MIDI machine code. So that's pretty straightforward. That's what you need to set up the IAC driver to um, pass MIDI between the two applications. Now, the thing about IAC is that it doesn't seem to pass uh, MMC, which is a MIDI machine control. It passes MTC timecode just fine, but MMC seems to be a problem. So we need another application for that. And it's um, this application called uh, MIDI pipe. Now, MIDI pipe is yeah another sort of bridge between that that helps pass the MMC. And what we did was um, to create a pipe, you go to edit, add pipe. So I have two pipes, pipe one, you can just name it here. And I add a MIDI out and a MIDI in. You can just drag it over or just double click it. On the MIDI out, it goes to MIDI pipe output one. And on the MIDI in, it goes to MIDI pipe input one. And on the MIDI out, make sure it's a pass through is on. And then I created another pipe called pipe two. Now pipe two is the MIDI in comes from MIDI pipe input one. And the MIDI out is the IAC driver MMC, not MTC. That's the uh, machine control side of the IAC driver. And it's also pass through. So once you set up those two pipes, pipe one and pipe two, then you're done on the IAC and the MIDI pipe side uh, that's sorted. So um, you can just minimize that. Don't close it because it's not going to work if you close uh, the application. Now back to logic. Um, let's go to File, Project Settings Sync. Now we got to do one more thing. Under MIDI, this is the part that's important, the bottom part. MIDI time code, you got to take transmit MTC and select IAC driver MTC. That's fine. And make sure transmit MMC is on as well. And that's done with logic. Now let's go to Reaper. Let's open up Reaper. So this is one of the projects I had and I just loaded up any video. You just drag your video onto the timeline. Make sure it starts at zero. Um, and right click on the play button or you can go to 
um, options, uh, sorry, yeah, you can go to options, um, here, external time code synchronization. Let's go to synchronization settings. Now, we need to tick this box, enable synchronization to time code. And use input is MTC all inputs. Just select MTC all inputs. And um, yep, that's it for now. And you can close that. And you make sure that the play button is green. So now it's slave to time code. And you can see right here, it says waiting for time code. Now it's waiting for time code from the IAC driver, which is passed from logic. But you still need to do one more thing. Now go to Reaper preferences. And for it to play back properly, you need to go to audio playback and all the scrub jog settings. Make sure they're all unchecked because I was having the hell of a time trying to figure out why whenever I jumped to a different bar, the video would scrub through. So just uncheck everything and make sure your play button is green. So not everything is pretty much set up. Um, I'm just going to open both windows at the same time. Let's see. Just to show it working. Now within logic, I'm in bar 5, which is 0. Let's move it. You can see that Reaper is also jumping bar by bar. And the wonderful thing is you can also go frame by frame. So I'm going 1, 2. You can see that. Uh, let's open up a giant time display. I'm going to just drag it in. There we go. And two frames, two frames. And as we move, you can see that they are matching up. So that's fantastic. Frame by frame movement's fine. And as we play, both are playing and the video is playing as well. So there you go. Pretty straightforward. You can drag this um, window to your secondary monitor or even your third monitor or TV. So that's how you sync everything. And it makes life a whole lot easier when you're scoring a, a long film or, you know, something that's a bit longer than uh, that needs a few different kinds of cues. Well, I hope that helped. I was super stoked when I learned about that. And uh, I hope you find it useful as well. And good luck for your next film project.